What's going on y'all? We are down here at one of my favorite places in the world and that would be the river. I'm down here in my kayak and uh, we've already had a very interesting day. I was trying to go to this other spot that's way deeper. It was full of cars, didn't even have anywhere to park so I decided not to go there. Came to this spot and then there's a family down here swimming and their dog decided it was going to jump in my kayak. It's just been interesting. But we're down here and we're going to see if we can't get on some fish. The water is super, super low so I'm kind of a little bit worried. In the springtime that's a good thing but in the summertime that can be difficult because the bass move out to the deeper water and if the water's low all this stuff is just really shallow so there's probably some fish in here i don't think they're very big but the farther i paddle up the deeper it's going to get i just don't know how much time i have and how long it's going to take for me to get up the river so we're just going to kind of have to mess around see what happens i've got two crankbaits tied on and a big worm tied on i don't know what the heck the fish are going to bite today but we're about to see if we can figure something out y'all stay tuned hopefully we get us a big one I'm gonna start off throwing this right here this is the bouncer my mock baits i've got a deep diving crankbait tied on no way I'm throwing that in this section, but I was planning to fish the other section. We're just gonna have to see what the fish want in here. Also got a couple other baits tied up, so let's just see what they want. So I just saw my first decent sized bass. This water is really, really low and with my redfin glasses, I can see everything. I mean, the water's clear, there is a glare, but with these, it removes the glare and I can see everything. I've been looking around, I've seen a bowfin, I've seen a catfish, and I've seen one bass that was like a pound, and I saw some like six inch bass. So I think I just gotta keep on moving up. I know there's a bridge up here and it is loaded with fish. It's just a long paddle and I'm going upstream. So it's easy coming back, hard going up. And the wind is not in my favor today, so. I guess I'm just going to keep working my way up. If I find a deeper hole, we'll stop there and fish. But for right now, it looks like we're heading towards that bridge. We're going to see if we can get it done up there. We're going to try throwing this bouncer right here on this shade line. It's a hard shade line. It looks good. Not super deep, but it could hold fish, especially smaller ones. So we're going to give it a shot. I was messing around. I ended up catching one. I knew I should have cut on the camera. I threw on this tree right here with a rage crawl. Plum crazy. Caught me a little one. He's not big. But on the rage crawl on a Texas rig. See, I got a feeling that if I downsize, I can probably catch some smaller ones and all this stuff, but they're going to all be that size. And when I come to the river, I want to catch some good two, three, four pounders because they just fight so good in here. And it's so rewarding to just get on a big fish in such a small body of water. Let's see if there's another one up there in that tree. There might be. I don't know, that guy right there, he picked it up and started running with it. Big time. Another one's got it. That gummit. Another one. Small ones, that's what it is, they're small. Let's see if we're on a pattern. Got another tree right here. I'm gonna throw the rage crawl up there and see if there's any in there. I'm betting there will be a small one right here. Well, that didn't play into the pattern, that's for sure. We've got a deeper section right here. I'm gonna start off by throwing the crankbait and then we'll throw the crawl around some. I still wanna get up there to that bridge, but there could definitely be some fish in here. It's deep enough for sure. There's a three pounder sitting next to the boat. He might eat it. Dude, no way, dude. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo. What in the world? He didn't eat it all the way. I still see him. I still see him. Where'd you go? There was literally a three pounder like following my kayak. Like I could see him. <gasps> and he ate one of the pinchers off my rage crawl. And he just bit my big worm, the rage anaconda. He just won't eat it all the way, but it's a good one. And he's just swimming around acting stupid. What in the heck? What in the heck, dude? Now I don't know if that was him or a different fish, but one just missed it again. We're putting back on another rage crawl. Because it's a little bit easier for them to get in there now. Oh, man. That's crazy. I mean, I've had three, four bites right here. One of them was at least a three, because I could see him. I could see him trying to eat it. And then I think he ate the big worm, just didn't eat all the way. And then I had another bite on the big worm. There's a bite on the rage crawl. Actually, might've been rock. No. Oh, I don't know if it's got it. It's got it. Yeah, I won't tripping. I knew it was a bite. Baby. But yeah, there's some fish in this area. I've only got one pack of this color crawl. But honestly, I don't think color matters because they bit a June bug worm and they're biting a plum crawl, so. I think they're just hungry. And I think there's a good bit of fish right here. Golly! He ate it when I was reeling it in. He ain't big, but... Hey, that's another fish. I started reeling it in because I was about to just move spots. He ate it when I was reeling it in. I'm still gonna move spots, but it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go up a little bit farther. So a lot of people ask like what I'm targeting and like what I'm doing and stuff like that. and. I uh, could definitely do a better job of explaining that half the time. But like in a situation like right now, oh, that was a bluegill or a warm mouth or something. In a situation like right now, I don't even know what I'm targeting. I'm just targeting wood and deep water, I guess. Kind of just like anything that looks good and has some decent depth to it. That's what I'm targeting. That was sick. <laughs> that was sick. There is a trash mat right here. I punched through it with my bait and I didn't get any bites. And as soon as I pulled it over the log, the bait was on top of the water. He came out from under the trash mat and blew up on it like a top water. He ain't a giant, but hey, at least we're getting some fish in the boat. I mean, 
I'll take that all day long. That was cool. That was epic. That was a lot of fun. Dang, bro. Oh, come on. Come on. rough right there I can see the bridge it is right there we're so close well that definitely did not go as planned I've been anticipating that we'd catch them on that bridge all day. Guess what happens? Go down to the bridge, don't even get a bite. So I guess I'm going to keep going up a little bit more, see if it gets any deeper. Um, if not, we're just going to work our way back down and see if we can get any more to bite down. But man, I was really hoping that bridge would be on. I mean, I've caught like 10, 15 fish under there before. The only thing that was under that bridge was carp, and there was about 500 of them. So if I ever want to go carp fishing, that's the place to do it, I'll tell you that right now. There's some big suckers under there too. They're like this daggone big. They're big. There you go. Big old snap little. Now, let's see if you weren't doing anything, you come pick me in my kayak up, but I can paddle all the way back. Because I, I'll be paddling downstream, but. Yeah, but if you're busy, then you don't have to. I mean, you don't have to leave right now anyways. I'm not even there yet. All right, midday update. I've paddled far, like really far, farther than I have ever paddled from that ramp before. And I've been going upstream the whole time. There's actually another ramp upstream that's like not that far from me. I just called Caleb and I was like, yo, can you like come pick me up? And he was like, yeah, I can probably come get you. So he might pick me up so I don't have to paddle all the way back. And then he'll just take me by my truck and I'll grab my truck because I'm far. That ramp to that ramp are like a 10 to 15 minute drive by car. Oh yeah, you gotta go on down a little way.